Hi, my name's Amanda Phillips with Penton Media, and I'm here today with Tom Hand from Sherpa. Hi, Tom, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. You want to tell us a little bit about what's new at Sherpa and what you're featuring here at TechEd? Sure, no problem. We've been spending a lot of time this year updating our product line to, uh, to meet the changing uh, marketplace. Uh, we have a new version of our MailTender, award-winning MailTender product, uh, which uh, features online archiving feature functionality. Uh, we've also, um, our, our popular e-discovery product has now been expanded to support SharePoint and NSF searching. And uh, our archiving product has been uh, re-architected to better support our uh, larger customers. Oh, and recently we, supported, we celebrated our 10-year anniversary. That's wonderful. It's good to hear you guys have been around for a while. Can you tell us a little bit about the release of Exchange 2010 and how you feel it's impacted the industry? Sure, uh, we have quite a long list of email administrators in our customer list, so we kind of get an inside track about how each version of Exchange is uh, received. And this version has actually been well received, in my opinion. Um, what we found is that I think Microsoft has struck a chord with, uh, uh, with this version. It uh, helps uh, a lot of email administrators address common problems such as legacy data, uh, compliance, and e-discovery in ways previous versions have not. Wonderful. So do you want to talk a little bit about the cloud and what you're seeing from customers? Sure. Um, what we, as a provider of uh, uh, content management tools for other people's platforms, uh, we were a bit concerned initially that uh, our customers might be uh, uh, quickly moving into the, uh, into the cloud, the, you know, the proverbial hockey stick, so to speak. Uh, in any case, what we found actually is it's quite the opposite. It's much more of a trickle. And uh, most of those are just smaller customers. Um, and so uh, there's still a lot of concern with the bigger customers about security and control when it comes to uh, cloud-hosted data. Nice. So the next big thing in information management or data management, what do you see coming in those areas? Well, it's kind of hard to predict the next uh, Google or Facebook. Um, so I'd have to say that the, the biggest thing is just going to be dealing with uh, the ever-increasing volumes of data out there. Um, we, uh, uh, we tend to focus a lot on, uh, uh, on information management tools, and so um, one of the things that you have to do when you're dealing with this type of environment is to keep your cur products current and relevant with the marketplace, it's always changing, and uh, also uh, you want to make sure that, the, um, uh, that you provide value to the customers, otherwise they're not going to come back. There's an old saying that uh, your uh, customers actually brand you, and I'm somewhat proud to say that our customers think our, our products are uh, practical, reliable, and affordable. Wonderful, that's great information, Tom. And thank you for joining us.